Now, Tech Trends, news you can use on the biggest shifts in technology, software, and devices that affect our lives. Good morning and welcome back. Google is directly taking on Apple again, introducing its newest products and features at its annual I.O. Developers Conference in San Francisco. The tech giant revealed Android Pay, a new Google Photos app, and virtual reality field trips. Google technologist Daniel Seberg joins us this morning with a roundup of all of the announcements. Daniel, glad to have you in this morning. Good to be with you both. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty doing good. Well, I hope thanks. you're doing well as well. Let's start the, this morning with, with Google Photos because that's getting a lot of buzz this morning. Is this new online photo service basically uh, willing to store and organize all of the world's digital photos and videos for free? Yeah, in a sense. I mean, if you're like me, you take lots of photos on your smartphone. You've got it with you all the time for different events. But one of the things that we all struggle with is trying to organize them better. You get into a bit of a death scroll where you're trying to show somebody a picture, but you can't find it. Um, so with this new Photos app, and it's available today on iOS and Android, you can search your photos based on, say, if you've got pictures of babies, you can type in babies and those will come up. Um, you can organize them. They're organized by different locations or things or people. Um, you can share them very very easily. It's unlimited free storage for high quality images and video. So we've heard from people that this is really how they want to be able to access their photos, that it's important to them. And this is the kind of thing that we're seeing is, is really resonating with people. So how does this app know that, you know, maybe I want to search for babies or I want to search for baseball photos? Yeah, you literally just type it into your phone. Um, you come up with a, with a search term. The algorithm is able to analyze the pixels within the image. This is all private to you, and you can decide if you want to share them or not. Um, but it's a really neat way um, to organize those photos and make them accessible to you. And you know, this is the kind of thing that we run into. We almost call it a death scroll, where you're constantly scrolling through, and you just can't find those images to share with people, whether you're in person or wanting to do it online. I was just doing that yesterday. <laughs> well, Google also announced an update to its mobile operating system called Android M. What are some of the features there? Yeah, I mean, we had a big focus on that computer that's essentially in your pocket all the time, Android M. So better battery life. This is something, of course, that a lot of people deal with. So there are going to be new ways to be able to make sure that your phone isn't using up all that juice if you're not actually um, using it for anything. Um, Android Pay, which you mentioned, is a, is a new way to be able to use your smartphone to pay in different stores. Um, we're also focusing on permissions and new ways that you can change your permissions for different apps and make sure that you're comfortable with whatever it is that you're sharing. Um, you can go back and change your mind if you want to with, with a different app. So lots of ways that, uh, that you can, you know, again, think about that smartphone uh, almost as the computer that's, that's in your pocket uh, all the time. And we've had some big futuristic product announcements in the past, like Google Glass. This year you've got uh, the virtual reality for classrooms. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so this is Google Cardboard, and if you're not familiar with it, it is actually made out of cardboard. You slide your phone in. Um, there are a couple of lenses here, and you get this very virtual reality kind of an experience. And the idea with, with expeditions is that um, we're working with schools, and what, what essentially happens is the teacher has a tablet. Um, the students all have cardboard, and they look in here and can see whatever it is the teacher is showing them, and it's take, taking them to these exotic places around the world. You know, imagine a, a school in China. Chattanooga and these students are able to go to the Great Wall of China, which they would otherwise maybe never be able to see, and certainly not at a young age. And it's this really immersive experience. And so the reaction from kids has been amazing. Um, they, they really start to get into it and they can see the possibilities of what this means. And we think it's just a low cost way. There are a million of these cardboard devices already out there, and, and folks can get their hands on them if they want to and see all of the different apps that are being created for it. Well, Daniel, that all sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Uh, we'll be checking in uh, on all of the uh, new updates that uh, Google has for us coming up. I want to get one of those cardboard. Yeah, it looks, for, looks neat. Things just for myself, maybe not the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's head over to Facebook okay. now. We'll check in on our question of the day. All right, this morning we've been asking you about your go time, go to summertime beverage, you know, that drink that always helps cool you mm -hmm. off. and. Gerald says for him it's Budweiser, while George just wants a little H2O, just some water. Uh, let's see. Larlin says water. Monica says water, while Vicky says orange Powerade Zero. Drew says if I've been working or fishing and got hot and sweaty, Powerade Tropical Mango or some high quality H2O. A tip of the hat to the Waterboy movie. Sherman likes good old fashioned lemonade. 
Uh, love cool refreshing Jan tea. and Tracy both say, well, I guess Jan says sweet tea, while Tracy says iced tea. Dale says ice cold Corona, while Craig likes the occasional beer. Peggy says sweet iced tea, while Holly says coffee, always coffee. Betty and Dwight also putting in for sweet tea, while Delilah says fresh lemonade. Dan says water. Keith says sweet iced tea. And Kim says some nice cold iced tea, while John says coffee and Jesus every day. And Harold says iced tea always has been, always will be. Ha, do you ever like get a craving when you're hot? Like let's say you've been out mowing the grass or doing something, I know, but <laughs> doing something outside where you, your physical labor got hot and sweaty and you come back inside, do you ever have a craving for a certain drink? Mm. Like when, for me, it's milk. Oh. Like I usually never really oh, want to no. drink milk, but after I've been mowing the grass, especially on a hot day, I come inside and there's really nothing better than ice cold milk. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'll tell myself, I can remember when I was a kid, like playing outside for mm -hmm. hour, obviously hours on end and coming in, and I wanted cold orange juice. And I, you know, and I think about that now, I'm like, why did I want orange <laughs> juice? But I can remember that as a kid. Now, probably not so much. Yeah. It gives me acid reflux. Can't have anything acidic. <laughs> um, make a little acid. Yeah. <laughs> It is terrible getting old. Um, but no, so I can remember orange juice. So I'm sorry for saying ew to your milk comment that's because like that's equally weird. That I mean, is I don't the drink it regularly. That's like the that's only the time only I time. ever really want it. That okay, well, that is cereal, not odd. So. Um, but now I guess if, if, I, if I've been out and I'm hot, I, water, ice cold water. I just wonder if there's something physically, you know, that triggers, you know, Hey, you need more of this or that, Maybe. and that product has that the only time vitamin or mineral in it. I really crave milk is if I have a cookie. So <laughs> it's not when I'm True. hot. <laughs> All right, our time now is 718. All right, we're going to take a short time out. When we come back, we'll get you caught up on traffic and weather together this morning.